Hello lovelies, in slightly scary thoughts, it is exactly one month today until exams start. So this is what I need you to be doing now. This is where we need to have the focus of our vision and that is on doing papers. And not only just doing papers, but you need to be marking them yourself. Because the marking of papers, the doing of questions, is the really, really important part. When you do the papers, try and do some of them in timed conditions so you do get a realistic feel of what it's like. You are going to be jumping from topic to topic to topic to topic. So your brain is going to be getting used to not just revising one massive topic all by itself, but jumping from topic to topic like you would in the real exam. So your brain gets used to going in there and finding all the different bits of and pulling them out and writing them down on the paper. Then, once you've done the paper, the really important thing is to go to the end and look at the mark scheme. Now, the mark scheme is really, really important because it tells you what the examiners are looking for in a question. If you got anything wrong when you were doing your paper, you can then use that, that mark scheme, pop it on a flashcard, pin it in a pile somewhere, and go back to it later. So it's really, really important that you look at the mark scheme. Now, some of the mark schemes from the exam papers can be a little bit confusing, which is why we've done loads of video walkthroughs for you to show you how to get the answers to the questions for the papers that we've written. So doing papers is the absolutely best way you can be spending your time revising. It's going to clearly show you what gaps you need to fill in. It's going to clearly show you what sort of things the examiners are looking for. But there is a bit of a problem with this because if it's only a limited number of papers out there and your teacher may be giving you questions as you've been going along and um, throughout the year you might have done them all over the Easter holidays already and you get to the point where I need to do more revision but there aren't any exam papers with loads and loads of unseen questions in which is where I can help you because I have written loads and loads of papers like this so um, things that are matched the specification because that is really important these are not ones from the exam board these are completely unseen questions. So this is going to be a real test of your vision. Do you really understand the topic? Um, do you really understand the subjects? Are you really, really comfortable with doing everything? Because that is the challenge at this point. Continuing to do revision, but doing it with unseen content, as you would get in an exam. And then part of the problem is lots of people say they do this, but what they've actually done is just downloaded uh, made papers from the exam board and put those up on that website and that is well not only copyright infringement but not very helpful for you so what I've done is written these papers and to go with the papers that we've written what we've done is we've done the walkthroughs of so not only the the answer but we've done the why and the how to get the answer so showing you kind of like if this is the question this is a massive clue <laughs> that the examiners are kind of like screaming at you, trying to get you to pay attention to this. Um, so we've done loads and loads of things like that to really, really help you. Um, we are going to be doing so much stuff. I'm literally working seven days a week, um, like putting in 10, 12 hour days. I mean, do what I say, not what I do. Don't do that. That's a really bad idea. Um, but I just want to get as much revision stuff out for you as I can before the exams. Um, so when you're revising, revise sensibly, do not stay up for all hours, um, absolutely killing yourself because that is not a helpful way to revise. Please go to bed early, please be sensible um, in things like this um, and just remember we can get through this together. Ouch! This is why in some videos I, I explain scratches.